Hey, Justin. So, um, to your question, um, basically, you're going to need these items right here. Obviously, the EB3A. You're going to need some kind of power supply, uh, battery, uh, an external battery. This is what I happen to get. Uh, it's a Life LiPo 4 uh, Chemistry. Uh, it's the same battery that they use in here. It's a 12.8 uh, 50 amp hour. So, that's going to give me about 600 and... 12 times 8 times uh 12 times 12.8 times 50 that's going to give me about I don't know like 600 something watt hours on top of the on top of this already on top of the 268 um the third one you're going to need is a it's a charger for this guy uh I happen to have this laying around here it's a multi chemistry charger cuz I do a lot of RC hobby I charge a lot of lipo batteries and different kind of chemistry batteries. It happens to have a, a a setting for this type of battery here, so you could just get any whatever charger as long as it's a charger for a, a life po four battery, then you're good. You're also gonna need the cables that came with your EB three A. Um, you're gonna want to buy a separate one on Amazon so you don't destroy a uh, the cable because you're gonna it's gonna require you to, to basically cut um this is the solar charger um uh cable that came with with the ev3a and i just cut cut the wire and added these guys on there um you could get these uh, on amazon as well they come like this um i soldered them into the into these clamps right here you know, if you're not really comfortable with soldering, um, you do can just you can just you could just crimp them. Obviously, with the pliers, I can't do it by hand, but you could basically just cut this, strip it open, and expose the the wire inside. Make sure that the red goes to the red, black to black, or you're gonna fry your thing up. Um, basically, just put it in there, and then crimp it with this thing right here. Close this down right here with pliers and crimp it as much as you can. Um, I prefer soldering. I soldered it directly on there and I crimped it to make it uh, secure. But, you know, like what I said, if you're not comfortable doing that, you could just crimp it as well. But it's, I don't know how, how, um, how durable that's going to be. So basically, for, for you to be able to... To extend your EV3A, you're going to need this cable right here. That's for the charger. You're going to need the cable that came with your EV3A. And you're going to need to um, modify it to have these um, alligator clips. So basically, what you do is really simple. Right? You just undo this with one hand. Basically what you do is you turn on your EB3A here. Basically what you do is just take black to black, red to red. Make sure that the end is not, you're not going to short this out. And then all you have to do, see this wire is plug it in to the solar port, the MPPT input. Come on, zoom in. Not zooming in so you just plug it in here and you'll see it'll start charging oh what is happening there you go it's starting to charge 80 watts 97 watts there you go 100 watts now i just extended my eb3a to about 800 watt hour instead of just the 268 here it's 268 but it's in reality it's 200 because um the inefficient if efficiency of the inverter now if you want to if you want a faster charge rate instead of just 100 watts or 96 watts you're going to need to convert this into a 24 volt it's basically you're going to have to connect a up converter between the these two connections, basically, 
you're going to cut this off and you're going to put the converter over here to make it 24 volts and this is going to charge to about 200 to 300 watts now for me to make it simple this is what i did i just basically just took a 12 volt battery <clears throat> and plugged it directly into the mppt controller and it's giving me 96 watts now to charge it really simple right charge this i have a solar i bought the solar uh that, that was included with the eb3a or not included but it was bundled i bought it with it so it was like instead of 200 dollars, i paid like i don't know 500 something with 100 120 watts uh solar panel so what i do basically is take my charger and then it's hard to do with one hand here. Oh, take this off real quick. Basically, plug this in. So you're gonna need to buy a charger. Uh, if you get this, they do come with chargers um, bundled with the battery on Amazon. Called Power. It's called Power Queen. Uh, I got their most uh, cheapest one, which is I think this was like. $190 or something like that. Um 190 to 200 I got it on sale so I got it for 150. Um <clears throat> but this is what I got. You could they have other batteries 100 100 amp hour. So what you do is you you multiply the voltage um with the with that amp amp hour and it gives you wattage. So this one is like 600, I don't know. My math is probably incorrect. It's it's around 640 or something like that. 630 or something like that. Watt hour. Um, you can get bigger ones. I just decided to get this one because it's portable. It's small. So basically what you do is um, get a charger. Obviously you're going to need a charger. And it has to be specific for a LifePo 4. This chemistry right here. Right there. It has to be a charger for that. Um, chemistry battery if you get a different one then it's it's not gonna work um, it could ruin your battery here so basically what I do is take my charger right and then I hook up my solar I can't get my solar right now my solar is uh, in the garage so I hook up my solar in here so it, it's solar charging at the same time, it's going to be charging my batteries during the day. So I just connect that to the back of this thing here. Sorry, it's hard to do this with one hand. So there you go. And then turn on the AC. And this should power up. There you go. There you go, and then you just charge it. So I have to increase the amp to its highest 7 amps. You could actually charge it at 50 amp hour, but my charger only goes all the way up to 7 amps. And charge. It's probably going to be like at 200 something watts. 170 watts. So it's taking 170 watts and if you get the solar panel that is 200 watts then it should about it should about uh on a good day when it's really really sunny it should about equalize the charge um so you're not draining your battery on here you're solar char charging while you're 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 basically solar charging it and you're charging this battery you're solar charging the EB3A and the EB3A it's charging this battery. So when you're on the go, that's what you can do. But anyways, hope that helps, man. Um, hope I made it as simple as it can be here. Um, there are more, a lot more things that you can do, but I just try to make, make it as simple as, as it can be. Alright, man. Good luck.